This is Lawrence Phillips. Most football fans are probably unaware that this man is responsible for Jerome Bettis' famed and legendary Hall of Fame career in Pittsburgh. Phillips was drafted sixth overall in 1996 by the St. Louis Rams. Lawrence Phillips was thought by some analysts at the time to be the single best player in the draft, which is why the Rams traded the future Hall of Famer, Jerome Bettis, to the Steelers for a second and fourth round pick. Unfortunately, Phillips only lasted three years in the NFL and was ultimately a bust. You see, Phillips had several incidents off the field at college in Nebraska, including an incident where he dragged his thin girlfriend by the hair down three flights of steps and smashed her head into a mailbox. And his off the field antics continued into the NFL. It was later revealed in a 2016 documentary that while on the Rams, he stayed at bars until 4 a.m. and would often show up to practice with alcohol on his breath, which probably had a lot to do with his inconsistent play on the field. Out of the NFL by 1999, Phillips had two failed stints with the AFL and the CFL, but was done with professional football for good by 2003. In 2005, Phillips was arrested for driving a car into three teenagers after an argument following a pickup football game, while at the same time being wanted in another county for domestic abuse. This time, he choked his then girlfriend unconscious. In 2006, in 2006, Phillips was charged with felony assault with a deadly weapon and was found guilty on seven counts and sentenced to 10 years in a California state prison. This 10-year bid became a 31-year bid, as he would ultimately be convicted for the previous charges mentioned. You know, where he tried to kill people with his car and choke his girlfriend to death. Speaking of choking, in 2015, Phillips' cellmate was found dead. He was choked to death. Phillips was charged with his murder. And that now 31-year bid was either going to be a life sentence or the death penalty. While awaiting trial, Phillips had hung himself in his cell. Live by the choke, die by the choke. When his body was found, it was discovered that the words do not resuscitate were written on tape and taped to his chest. What could have been a storied career with what ultimately became the greatest show on earth, became another tragic NFL story.